The Tags panel in Affinity Publisher allows you to create custom alternative text descriptions, utilize XMP data, or mark elements as decorations. I have here a digital flyer that I've been working on for an art exhibition, and the flyer will be uploaded as a PDF to a website and viewed online. I want to add in some alt text to assist visually impaired users. So I'll scroll down to pages four and five, and I'll place an image into this blank picture frame I have here. I can then use these scale sliders to reduce the size of the image so it better fits within the frame. Next, I'll expose the tags panel by going to Window and scrolling down to Tags. It's worth noting that you assign alt text to objects and images directly. You'll notice that if I have the picture frame selected, the options on the tags panel are unavailable. To be able to assign alternative text, I need to have the image inside the picture frame selected to be able to interact with the tags panel. And I can do this by double clicking on the picture frame with the move tool selected, or by explicitly selecting the image layer on the layers panel. I can then use the tags panel to add in some custom alt text. So I'll type in giant metal sculpture of a man sitting and thinking on bench made from small discarded and rusted metal parts welded together. This is a good general description of the image, but it is quite long. Historically, most screen readers will only read out the first 125 characters of the alt text description. So to be on the safe side, I'll reduce the description slightly to instead read giant metal sculpture of a man sitting and thinking made from discarded metal parts welded together. In doing so, I've reduced the alt text description down from 138 characters to 102, while still providing a good description of the image. You'll notice that on the tags panel, you have the option to define a source. In the first example, we created a new custom alt text description. However, you can instead choose to use the image's XMP data. For instance, if I select this image here on the right hand side, I can change the source on the tax panel from custom to XMP title, description, or headline. For this example, I'll use description. XMP titles can be useful, but descriptions can help to form a more detailed impression. I can now use the pre-flight panel to check to see if I have any other elements within the document that require alt text descriptions. So I'll make sure that the pre-flight panel is visible by going to window, and choosing pre-flight. I'll need to alter the pre-flight profile in order to activate the alt text option. So I'll go to the panel menu and I'll choose edit profile. I'll scroll down to the alt text section and I'll change the pre-flight warning level from disabled to warning. I'll make sure that check place documents and check place images are both enabled. And for the moment, I'll leave check vectors disabled as I don't have any vector elements in this document. We'll close the dialog, and the pre-flight panel will now display any images or documents that don't have alt text assigned. I can double click on the pre-flight warning to highlight the image in question, and we can see that the nuts and bolts image on page five doesn't have any alt text assigned. The image in question is purely there for aesthetic purposes and doesn't add anything to the main story of the document. As such, I don't want the image to have any alt text associated with it. So instead, I'm going to mark the illustration as decorative. With the image selected, I'll go back to the tags panel and under the text input box, I'll select the option mark as decoration. All of my images have now been tagged with alt text. So I'll export the document as a digital PDF by going to file, choosing export, I'll choose PDF from the Format drop-down and select the PDF Digital High Quality preset. I'll then scroll down to the Advanced options below and I want to make sure that I have the Tagged PDF option selected. Once I'm happy with the settings, I can then click Export. I'll choose where I'd like to save the document and then click Save. Now, when I open the exported PDF in Preview and turn on my accessibility options, 
the screen reader will pick up the alt text and read it aloud. In image, giant sculpture of a man sitting and thinking, made from discarded metal parts, welded together, image. So that was how to use the tags panel to insert alternative text descriptions in Affinity Publisher. I hope you found this useful and thank you for watching.